Uh, how was it used? Well, obviously the main use of semant, the main use is concrete. So we can't really separate concrete from semant. So how do we use it on site? Okay, how do we like transfer it there? Two trucks. Okay, and the, the, uh, my think Ahmad Yaman can speak about like the different layers in the packaging. Okay, we just transfer it on site and there's like two sides. There's the ready mix, which everybody is getting familiar with, like all the companies, like the national company, and the ordinary companies are using ready mix. It's mixed in the past and they transfer it to the to the side. So you use it, you use actual concrete in the side. You don't need to mix it on the spot. Uh, all the traditional uh, why is the ready mix more uh, respected than the one made on the side? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, because in uh, the, uh, the ready mix, if you want to mix it in the side, there's really no quality control over that. What by quality control, what do you mean? Uh, by quality control, like the percentage is that you can't weigh on site. You only That's number one thing. Number one thing is on site, it's usually volume batching. What's volume batching? And when you mix the concrete, you mix it by volume. However, on site or on a batch plant, it's weight batching. Obviously, weight batching for concreting is much more accurate than volume batching. But, however, however, there are some sites, and you saw one or two, three ones here, that have weight batchers on site. Yeah, yeah. in the they have but it fills in, by volume. Now, that time, the when they mix concrete in the they have some sort of a container, a box, or something. They fill and by volume. In this, in this particular kind, it's by weight, so it's more accurate. But regardless, the still the, the, the quality control they do on aggregates and all that stuff is much better in the ready mix. But yeah. the main one of the main reasons is the volume versus weight batching. Exactly. Also, there's many options to transfer. There's many types. There's like that mix actually. There are two types. Yeah. There's the agitator the and the mixer. Yeah, the trucks tools. They're usually two types. There's something called agitator, and all that does is really it gets concrete. It's called the wet batch plant. A wet batch plant that disposes concrete wet. I'm telling you these things because they're they're important. Instead of me covering them again in another lecture, I'm just going to tell you it here now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the weight, the con the two kinds of batch plant. There's a batch plant where the con it mixes water with the concrete. So it actually the output is really concrete, and then the truck just agitates the concrete so it doesn't doesn't dry. doesn't so it doesn't dry on site. There's another kind called a dry batch plant. In a dry batch plant. All that the batch plant does is that it weighs the material and puts it inside the truck with no water. So you have some uh, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement, and any additive inside the truck mixer. And then the mixer itself has a bucket of water. Usually there's a tank of water that the mixer itself adds water while it is transporting. So it mixes it on the way. You see what I'm saying? It mixes it on the way. That's Obviously, dry bit, dry. It track the part. Start the lift. It mixes water. It mixes water. It mixes water. It mixes water. Ma al aggregate, so it makes concrete on the way, mm. which basically means that the the batch plant is just dry. That's why it's called a dry batch plant. All right, and it mixes it on the way. So on dry batch plants are cheaper, and you can get more. You gain more. Uh, it, it gets. It, it mixes the concrete on the way, so you can save a little bit of time. Uh, the other one has better quality. Uh, obviously, but the other one, the problem with the other one is that once once it has been poured inside the truck, you're limited with time. And so, so it you can delay that time though by adding admixture, which is expensive. Which yeah, is but let's suppose that you did not add an admixture, mm -hmm. and or you did add an admixture, a two hour admixture, and then on the way there's a, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's something that happened, and then the, and you're forced to pour it out. You'll be forced to pour it out or break the, However, with the other one, you don't add the water until you're sure you can aim, you can get there. Doctor, the different they take different mixes. These batch plants they produce different mixes. For each site. For each site. Uh, for each site they yeah. they have specific mixes, and they take samples and they break them in the batch plant itself. In addition, these batch plants have and there is cement. These batch plants have pre-treatment of the aggregate. Something that you don't have on site. Yeah, I mean on site, the best thing you can do is just wash your aggregate, wash the coarse aggregate. So most of these batch plants have pre treatment for the aggregate. Two steps. One step is something called the shaker. Basically, it's a shaker that keeps shaking the aggregate so it takes the dust off. 
and then a washer that washes them. So when the egg gets, gets mixed, it's a, it's a better quality. Now, my question to you as a cement, how does the cement uh, get transported in loose, in batch? And it can be transported as bags. Yeah. It can also be transported as loose cement. Uh, how do you transport it? Can you answer that? Uh, portable uh, blend. In portable blend? Well, what's that? What's that? In a, it's a truck that has an air vessel. Uh, uh huh. Air vessel. Air, air, air pressure vessel. Uh huh. Yes. So uh, we uh, pack the, put the loose cement in it. Uh huh. And it transports it. Now the question is, how do you how do you move the cement? In your case in the truck, how do you uh, take it out? Yeah, I mean, Pumps, what kind of pumps? Uh, the ones that rotate. Screw pumps. Screw pumps. Yeah. Good. How do you know that? Uh, I think that's right. Okay. <laughs> We've done a lot of research. Okay. Screw pumps. Basically, con cement. You can't pour cement, but cement is very powdery stuff. Mm -hmm. So how are you gonna how are you gonna for this day? I have to have it like dust. So there's a special kind of pump called screw pump. Basically, like an auger. That's a continuous flight auger that rotates and moves the cement from one place to the other. Okay, so uh, I, I use this uh, cement, mainly concrete. We can mix cement with water and do the finishing with it, which is really important. And there's the colored cement, so it, it saves time. We, we use it for architecture, uh, the architecture with the colors. We can use it as architectural asset, other than finishing and uh, I'm going to take a closer look at the Egyptian mass market with uh, Green is cement 